At Toastmasters, we have club speech contests. And if you win the speech contest, you go on to the area contest and then the division contest. And if we win all these, you go on to compete at the district level, which covers all of New Zealand. Now, these national contests are held in different cities. And the last convention was held here in Auckland last May. And the next Contest will be held and convention will be held in Blenheim next month. Yeah, my guest is a veteran of Toastmasters district conventions. <laughs> He's been to conventions all over New Zealand. And how do I know this? Because I've been there with him. <laughs> Please welcome David Sider. As toast, I'm going to ask David some questions face to face, but also we're going to face you as the audience because it's like giving a speech. So David, you've attended many conventions. Not quite 12, I don't think. <laughs> so how would you rate the conventions that you've been to from 1 to 10, 10 being excellent? Probably about a 3. 3? So that's a, that's a very it's a very low score. Why is that? Well, I think it's the way that they actually run. Um, I can't understand why, when you have a celebration dinner on a Saturday night, that you have to come back Sunday morning for part of the convention. I mean, at least the Americans have got, got it right. They come the day before, and they finish on Saturday. And at least this new convention down at Lennon, at least they're starting on Friday at 2.15. So I find that crazy. I mean, you spend all that money coming down, you put your accommodation, and all you really have is one day, Saturday. You know, it's all very well saying, the next day is, you know, things are happening, but, you know, by the time you've had a few drinks on Saturday night, you don't really feel like getting up in the morning at 8 o'clock to go along to the convention. I don't, anyway. And the other thing I find really hopeless is they tell you that the meal tonight is going to be at 7.30. So what do they do? They haul you into a room a room, mind you, 
There's only a few drinks, and you have to stand up in this room for about 40 minutes waiting to go in. Now, the last convention I was at, the flight window, I went and had a look at the lounge while we were standing there. The lounge bar was virtually empty. Now, wouldn't that be more pleasant to ask people to go into the lounge where you can sit down, where there's a little bit of pleasantry, and instead of sitting in a, standing up in a room? That's absolutely crazy. So I find that the way the logical, the logical, whatever you call it, is done, is crazy. So, and the main reason I really have gone to so many conventions, really, I've got to be perfectly honest, is not so much that I'm going to be a better Toastmaster. It's that I work in my own business at home. And to me, it's a bit of a holiday. And being a, being a new to New Zealand when I was 18, I haven't seen a lot of different cities. So to me, it was a bit of a holiday. So that's my rate at the moment. Okay, on a positive note, what, what sort of aspects of conventions do you like? Okay, well, I, I find the educationals are, educationals are really good. Um, and some of the speakers really are highly, I, I highly commend them. Even um, our friend Andrew is very good too. <laughs> uh, I liked one of the conventions where they actually brought in the, uh, the people that had been at convention before and had a special breakfast. I thought that was rather lovely. I can't remember which convention that was. But I thought that was, that sort of thing really encourages um, people and shows that the convention actually is, I don't know what the word is, but yeah, I'm not too sure of the word. Um, what else? Um, yeah, well, I mean, you meet people and, for instance, the keynote speaker is always inspiring. I always find that the key, keynote speaker, I can go away feeling, you know, probably floating in the air. So I don't worry too much about the drinking later on. And that really, I find, is really great. Uh, and the different speakers, and learning and seeing the people that are really uh, putting their effort into competing, I always find that very inspiring too. Would you, would you go to another convention? Maybe if they had drinks in the lounge. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we want to move along to some of the conventions that we've attended. Like we went to the New Plymouth District Convention in November 2010. And we drove down on the Friday, but she almost ran out of petrol. That's right. So what happened there? Well, we had strawberries to be on the way. Yes, we did. Yeah. Every now and then, I think it was summertime. It must have been summer to have strawberries. November. It was November. November, was it? Yes. Well, strawberries, weren't they? Oh, well, definitely, because it was, we had some. <laughs> <laughs> and all along the road to New Plymouth were signs saying, this is white bait country. So we eventually stopped at a white bait eating house and ordered some white bait. What did it taste like? Excellent. Very good. And um, I've got to say, um, it's really good to have a buddy when you go down there and... Um, Robert's been my buddy. Sometimes we've gone down in the car together, and uh, we've also been in the same you know, room to share some, some of the costs, so that's been really good. And talking about that, I think it's a good idea if also if he was ever running a convention, actually in the uh, brochure, whatever it is, ask people if they want to share a room with someone. I think that's, that, that's a good idea. Thank you, David. So, so Toastmasters conventions are a lot of fun. And for those who haven't been, it is highly recommended to attend. You get to hear New Zealand's best speakers and presenters and can learn from them to improve your public speaking skills. So, so thank you, David, for sharing your thoughts on about Toastmasters district conventions.
Thank you, Robert. Big hand for Robert for our interviewer and the chat show. Oops, well done.